The options discussed in this video are crucial for using Top Rank effectively. They were covered to some extent in the Top Rank Quick Start tutorial, which you should view if you haven't already done so. However, these options are important enough to be covered here as well. There are three basic options for selecting the inputs that will be varied in a Top Rank analysis. There are actually also a few more advanced options that will be covered in other videos in this guided tour series. These three options will be illustrated with the simple profit model shown here. The inputs in column C are the only inputs that affect the profit in cell C11. And the inputs in column D are the only inputs that affect the profit in cell D11. But all of the inputs in columns C and D affect the total profit in cell C12. These facts help you to appreciate the three options discussed in this video. First option, automatic detection. The easiest of the three options is to let top rank automatically detect the inputs that affect the specified outputs. For example, if you specify only cell C11 as an output, and then you use the automatic detection option, top rank will automatically vary only the inputs in column C. But if you select C12 as an output, it will automatically vary the inputs in columns C and D. The point is that with this option, top rank will automatically vary all inputs that directly or indirectly affect the selected outputs. Also, it will not make any modifications to the input cells, as the other two methods described next will do. However, to make automatic detection work in this way, you have to check at least one of the two top options, preferably the first option, in the Find Inputs tab of the Analysis Settings dialog box shown here. One of these two options. With the first option, Top Rank waits until you run the What If analysis to detect the inputs. With the second option, it detects the inputs as soon as you specify the outputs. Of course, for any of the options discussed in this video, Top Rank varies the inputs according to the settings in the Input Defaults tab of this dialog box. For example, plus or minus 10% in five steps from the base value. Now I will try it. I will first select cell C11 as an output. To use automatic detection, I will simply run a what-if analysis. As you can see, it will vary only the five inputs that affect the profit for model one. I won't actually run it. Next, I will select C12 as an output. And again, I will use automatic detection simply by running the what-if analysis. Now you see it's going to vary all 10 green input cells. This time I will run it. For the first profit, only five of the inputs affect that profit. But for the second profit, all 10 of them affect the total profit. The main drawback to automatic detection is that it varies all of the inputs that affect the specified outputs, even those that you consider absolutely fixed and don't want to vary. A secondary drawback is that it uses automatic names found in nearby cells for the inputs in its reports, such as these. The next option gives you more control over input names. The second option is risk auto vary functions. This second option uses the auto vary functions dropdown on the top rank ribbon to get the following choices. When you select add auto vary functions and then click OK, top rank's behavior is very similar to its automatic detection behavior. There are two differences. First, the first two options in the Find Inputs dialog box can be checked or not. It doesn't matter. So I could uncheck this. It wouldn't matter. Second, Risk Auto Vary functions now replace numbers in the input cells. For example, the 200 in cell C4 of the profit model is replaced by the formula you see here. In fact, just as with automatic detection, 
each input cell that affects any of the selected outputs receives a risk auto vary function. If you want to use a specific name for any input, you can append the risk name function to the formula. I'll do it here. Now I will run the what-if analysis. As you can see, all 10 inputs will be varied. And here is the nice name that I created in cell C4. After you run the what-if analysis, you can restore the input cells to their original values by selecting Remove auto -vary Functions from the auto -vary Functions dropdown. This removes all of the risk auto vary functions with a single click. The third option, risk vary functions. This last option takes more time, but it gives you control over which inputs are varied. In this method, you should first uncheck both of the top two options in the Find Inputs dialog box because you don't want top rank to detect inputs automatically. Make sure these are both unchecked. Then you can choose the inputs you want top rank to vary. To do so, you select any such input cell and click Add Input on the top rank ribbon. For example, if you select C4 and click Add Input, you see this dialog box. Note that if you click OK, nothing happens. That is, no input is added. Instead, you should click the Add Input button to see the following. Now you can change the name of the input, the range over which it is varied. You can also click the FX button for more advanced options on how the input is varied. When you click OK in this dialog box, the formula you see in red is added to the input cell. For this profit model, you can select as many of the input cells as you want to vary in this way. I will select four of them. Presumably, the inputs you do not select are fixed at their current values, and there is no reason to vary them. After you have added a number of inputs in this way, you can see all of them by clicking the Model Window button on the top rank ribbon. There they are. Also, you can remove an input from the list in any of three ways. You can right-click it in the Model Window and select Delete. You can select its cell click Add Input, and then Remove Input from the dialog box shown earlier. Or you can edit the cell directly, replacing the risk vary formula with the original value. Summing up, if you want a quick and easy way of specifying inputs for a top rank analysis, you can use automatic detection or risk auto vary functions. But if you want to control which inputs are varied, you should use the Add Input button to enter risk vary functions.